welcome to my 100th video thank you for supporting me throughout this journey please continue to do so i am doing a giveaway on this video so stay tuned to find out what i'm giving away and how you can win also i want to say a huge thank you to one of my subscribers mandy for sending me not one but two coffees. I really appreciate it, darling. Thank you ever so much. I am so grateful. we've got to a hundred videos or well a hundred episodes I've actually done more videos but since I started doing episodes this is my hundredth episode and it's crazy thank you all for continuing to watch me and all your lovely comments and your support it's amazing thank you so anyway I haven't introduced myself <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Julie, also known as Mrs England's Emporium. I know most of you know that already, but just in case someone's here that's new, hello. Um, I am a reseller. I sell things on eBay and Vinted, it turns out, but that's for a whole other video. Um, so this is going to be a haul video. And as I said just now, this is going to also be a giveaway video. So I'm going to tell you different things you need to do there is going to be a few steps you need to complete to be put into the prize draw for the giveaway. Now, the prize is going to be a £25 voucher. Yes, that's right. £25 for a, any takeaway of, of your choice. So basically, it will be for something like Just Eat, Uber Eats, Deliveroo, anything like that. Whoever wins it can choose which one and I will send it over. The first thing you need to do to be in with a chance of qualifying to be in the prize draw and with a chance of winning the £25 voucher is you need to subscribe. So subscribe to my channel and then comment done in the comments or if you already are subscribed, just write in the comments already subscribed. I will tell you the next step very soon. Right, so this is going to be a little mini haul video. This is to, for men's clothing mainly and a couple of bits of bric-a-brac. Now, I'm not going to pretend I know what prices we're going to get on these, but any information on any of this stuff that anybody knows, please let me know in the comments as always. It's um, one of those things where we've bought a few things that are different and we could do with a bit of your help so if you could help me in the comments that would be amazing so i'm going to get on with it replay blue jeans right he's wrote the prices down for me here two pound 25 these were men's replay blue jeans um i can't even see because my ring light has made me have like stars in front of my eyes <laughs> dear you see, you all you lovely people that keep coming back to my videos, you know what I'm like. So you know that this is not unusual. <laughs> right, these are a waist 36, length 32. So I would imagine that's leg 32. Made in Tunisia, machine washable. They smell amazing. Someone's washed these. Is that Jetto? Is that the model of the jean? I don't know. Anyway, they're really nice. Replay jeans tend to go pretty well in men's. Um, women's, I've had them and yeah, not so much. I think though, in all honesty guys, I am going to start lowering my prices in my shop because a lot of them I'm still in the Julie two years ago price zone and things aren't selling. So I need to have a good go through it all. I tend to do that on a night. If we have an early night and I can't sleep... I'll just sit and go through everything, right, I'm changing that price, I'm changing that price. And I always use, when you're going to revise an item and you go down to the price, nine times out of ten, there is a little bar chart near the price. I always click on that and see how much things have sold for. So I think that's what I'm going to do one night this week. I'm going to change a lot of prices. Um, so, yeah, replay blue jeans. Um, 
there's obviously money in those when we only paid two twenty five. I'm going to say, and I'm going to go out there on these, I reckon £40, but there might be a little less. But as I always say in all our videos, we have best offer on and we mess about with the prices. Right, so for the giveaway, your next step is to give this video a big thumbs up. Not a thumbs down, a thumbs up. And yeah, that's it. Just a thumbs up. Let's carry on. <laughs> So now we've got some Hill Figure Denim trousers, I believe. Yes, they are. I thought they were shorts then. <laughs> right, these are, these were 3 25 So here's the label. You know, whenever I put anything on here straight away, it goes blurry. So I do apologise for that. But yeah, they're real cool. Look at the stars and stripes inside. Um, they're just a blue, like, chino. See, I'm getting with the men's clothing lingo now. You can so tell that I don't sell men's clothing, can't you? And I do apologise for that. Now, these are nice. Um, 100 cent authentic, it says. 100 cent, 100 cent authentic. God, I can't read. Hilfiger New York denim. It's weird because they, they're not denim. But they are denim. Who knows? Got this lovely pocket on the back. Let me see what what size they are in case anyone's interested. As always, if you want me to share Rob's shop, let me know in the comments because I can pop the link in there if there's anything you fancy looking at. These are a waist 34, leg 34. Tommy Hilfiger denim, Fallon fit pea cut. This is not a pea cut. <laughs> yeah, I reckon 2025. Shout at me in the comments if you think I'm wrong. Okay, next giveaway task. I want you all to write in the comments what your favourite colour is. Obviously, I know this is random, but I'm trying to get people to watch the whole video to do every step. There is going to be one final step after this one. And if you blink, you might miss it. Right, so this is a jacket by Utility. It is 100% cotton. Oh, it doesn't smell as nice as them jeans, but it's not bad. He paid 4 50 for this. I think it's actually really cool. It's like a denim jacket. You're going to lose me for a minute. I'm still here. I just want to show you this. It's like stone wash, I think. It's got this patch on the back. Is anybody familiar with this brand? We don't know this brand, but we just liked the look of it. <sighs> I was going to knock that over then. That would have been funny. And we all know I'd have kept it in. It's got these lovely stamped buttons with like a like a plant going round. And the pockets as well. Really nice. Um, we don't know how much this is where. So I, I'm not going to put a value on it. But if anybody has any experience with this brand, please let me know. Um, like I say, it's the first time we've found it. There's also a little label saying utility on the pocket there. It's just really nice. It's heavy and thick. And that is definitely denim. So Tommy Hilfiger, I don't know what you're on about, but those trousers are not denim. That is denim. <laughs> I know there's different types of denim. But I know what I think denim is. See, if I was buying, if I went onto eBay and said, typed in, I wanted some denim jeans and I saw these and thought, oh, it says the denim, they're real nice. And I bought them and I got those. I'd have been very disappointed. This is why you've got to be really careful about what you write on your listings. <laughs> you've got to be ever so careful. Right. OK, so you also bought this. <laughs> See how much this was. This was £2.50. My dad would have loved this. He was a big John Wayne fan. Um. Yeah, John Wayne plate in front of the United States of America flag. Really cool. Um, this is obviously when he was older. Um, John Wayne Cowboy Legend by Robert Tamenbum. Limited edition fine porcelain. It actually has a number. The plate number is 9A 
5314, not for food use, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> food consumed, <laughs> I love these, I love these warnings. Food consumed from this plate may be harmful. This is a decorative accessory. It's the Franklin Mint Heirloom Recommendation. I'm going to show you all that so you can see it and have a giggle. I love it. Do not eat it. Do not eat off it. Do not eat it. Do not lick it. <laughs> it is a decorative item. Right, okay. So he paid, what did I say again? £2.50 for this. There are comps. I'm sure he said 15 up to 35 on this plate so yeah we'll obviously aim high as long as i don't break it i'm just gonna put it down over here nice and gently there we go right so before the end of my video i am going to tell you the last thing to do for the giveaway for the 25 pound takeaway voucher of your choice and i say of your choice it's going to be like one of the collective ones so like a justy a delivery an Uber Eats, something like that. Um, whichever one that you use that has most in your area, you can choose if you win. So the next, the last part to have a chance of winning will be said soon. <laughs> You're all going to be cursing me in the comments now. Right, we bought this. This is a Napton Junction plaque. It was one pound. One pound. Right, I picked this up and looked at it. There's two things here, actually, I picked up and looked at and put them back. Because I just thought, I just couldn't be bothered. And I know that's a really, <laughs> it's a really bad attitude to have, isn't it? But that's me all over. If I'm having one of those days where I'm feeling a bit groggy, a bit tired, haven't slept particularly well, hot and bothered, some things I'm just like, meh, meh. And these were them. So anyway, Rob picked it up. I have no idea how much this is worth, so I'm not going to pretend I do. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. I mean, it's obviously some sort of plaque. To me, it looks like a plaque you'd have on your front door or next to your front door under your number. You know, when people call their houses certain things. That's what it looks like. Am I right? Is that what it is? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, it's got to be worth more than a pound, hasn't it, people? Rob is going to do some research on that. I have no idea. And then the last thing is this. I need some help on this as well. Now, I am big into crystals, spirituality, tarot cards, all that sort of stuff. And I do think this is made of crystal. But I have no idea what it is. Now, this was 175 I picked it up, looked at it, and I put it back. And then Rob went and bought it. <laughs> we have a rule. We work together and all our money goes into one pot. But we have a rule that if one of us put something down the other one is allowed to pick it up and then it's for their shop whoever buys it it's for their shop so yeah this is for his now now i think this is crystal and i think it might be citrine or is it i don't know how you pronounce it is it a gate a g a t e but if anyone knows what this is can you let us know because i have google image this to death and i don't know what it is and I'm quite confused about it being crystal as well. I don't know whether it's crystal or whether it's stone or what it is. It looks crystal to me, but then I don't know for sure. And I'm not going to say I do because crystal comes in so many different forms, but you can also get stuff that looks like crystal. Now, this is very heavy and it's got like the velvet back. Um, I thought it might be an ashtray, but there are no like divots where you'd put your cigarette or cigar now i don't know whether that matters but most ashtrays have them don't they so i don't know whether that is an ashtray or i think it might be something that you rest something in like you can get things that you can rest a crystal ball in for instance um but it's oval so it's not anything that's a sphere so i'm confused i know you can get like decorative eggs so i thought that might be something or it could even be just something that you keep crystals in. But I spoke to my child, Sammy, who loves crystals. And they said that they weren't sure what it is. So 
I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I have no idea what that is. And I don't know what we'll get for it either because we don't know what it is. <laughs> but he wasn't leaving it for 175 and I don't blame him. I should have bought it, but I was just like, I'm going to show you what I bought in episode 101. Like room 101. Did anyone ever used to watch that? It was amazing. Anyway, last part of the giveaway before I forget and completely sign off because that's another type of thing that I do, isn't it, people? Let's not lie. I want you to comment again. Where is your dream holiday destination? What I'm going to do is in a few weeks' time, I will make sure that I work out when this is going to go on my channel live and I'm going to tell you right at the end of this video when the prize draw when the last date is to enter so stay tuned I need to work that out um so when I do that after that date I will be announcing on my channel through a short when I will be doing the live and I will be coming on my channel live and I'll be doing one of those spinny wheel things on the laptop with everyone's name in that has entered and done all of the steps. You must do all of the steps. You must complete all the steps to enter and I will pick a winner live on my channel, which I'm very excited about because I haven't done a live since I actually got to a thousand subscribers. So it'll be fun. It'll be nice to see you all on there. So like subscribe hit the bell for notifications if you'd like to buy me a coffee as a lovely mandy did at the beginning of this video i mentioned her thank you again my darling i really appreciate it she actually bought me two which yeah very very grateful thank you but if you'd like to do that and support my channel the link is in the description as always and i'll see you all soon have a lovely day evening night afternoon whenever it is you're watching this ta-ta guys okay i'm back I've just worked out that this video will be uploaded onto my channel on the 18th of July. So I am going to have the end day of this, midnight, the 22nd of July. And I will be doing the draw for this on the 23rd of July. Um, time to be confirmed. I will let you all know. So watch out for my shorts. And um, yeah, good luck, everybody. Follow all the steps that I've said in the video. And you'll be in with the draw. You'll be in the draw with a chance to win a £25 Just Eat, Food Hub, Deliveroo, Uber Eats, whatever, voucher. See you later, guys.